What is the bass doing? Hey everyone, my name is Christoph Jakob. I'm a music composer for video games. Today, let's check out the final boss theme from Side Order in Splatoon 3. Now, you may be wondering, hasn't Chris already made a video on that? Why am I talking about myself in third person? That's so weird. And yes, I did. I did make a video on New World Order. And I highly recommend checking it out once you're done watching this video. But did you know that as soon as you rematch the final boss, we're actually getting an entirely different final boss theme. One that is nothing like New World Order at all. Like this video if you enjoy and... <laughs> don't if you don't. <laughs> like this video if you enjoy and let's check out Short Order. Let's go. Very steady kick drum. Already sounds pretty disco and dancey. It's just a kick and a melody, more or less. Remember the opening of New World Order and just how massive and threatening it sounded? Why does the music sound so drastically different once we rematch the final boss? When you think about it, it actually makes sense. At first, the game wants you to believe that you're up against some sort of huge threat. And the music, New World Order, truly reflects that. Meanwhile, once you realize that the final boss is just this tiny, small loser, that is reflected in the music as well, in some ways. Short Order doesn't really sound like a fight, it sounds more like a dance with the final boss. Hence why this disco approach is quite suitable in my honest opinion. The intro establishes a melody that will be reused throughout the entire song in different contexts. Since pretty much all we get is a melody and a kick drum, we can't really make out chords just yet. We can speculate that we might be in the key of C major or A minor, because playing either of these two chords just works on top of the melody. I am pretty sure that we might be in the key of A minor, but... <laughs> <laughs> but we will have to wait and see to find out what's gonna happen next. Okay, that bass was unexpected. What is the bass doing? This tune always sounded so simple, but I think it might be a little more complex than we think. Short Order is leaning all the way into this dancey disco approach now. Not just the way the drums are written, but also the samples themselves are quite reminiscent of this kind of music. The melody that has been introduced in the intro that had been played by a synth up to this point is now strengthened and furthermore cemented into our brains by the vocals. I think it's both Pearl and Marina who are singing here and they seem to be playing the same notes too. Now let's talk about the bass. I think my reaction pretty much gave away that something is off in this tune. In case you didn't know, the bass is one of the most important, if not THE most important instrument to put melodies into the right melodic context. That is its main function most of the time. When you're trying to figure out the chords to a song, Zoe, the bass can help you there because it's one of the key chord indicators, so to speak. As I mentioned earlier, everything in this tune seems to be pointing to the key of A minor. Now that the vocals have kicked in, it actually does feel like we're landing straight on an A minor chord. It feels something like this. But you might notice that it's sounding kind of off. However, I think the chord progression is actually way more complicated and complex than that. The bass isn't landing on an A, it's landing on a B flat. This is in fact the most dissonant note you can play on top of an A minor chord, a so-called flat 9. <laughs> C 
So there's just no way that this is an A minor chord. But then what is it? Correct me if I'm wrong, but this might just be one of the most complicated chord progressions we've talked about on this channel so far. And that's honestly mostly because of what the bass is doing. I think the progression should go something like this. What a beautiful chord, isn't it? What is the bass doing? This tune always sounded so simple, but I think it might be a little more complex than we think. And now, the opposite applies. This, this is very simplistic. I feel like it's gonna explode soon. It's definitely building towards something. This entire section here is honestly a little uneventful. The bass is constantly jumping back and forth between the notes A and B flat. I don't think we needed to uh, vi visualize that. This is once again putting the melody, which reappears in the second half of the section, into a new harmonic context. The drums are pretty much playing what they have been playing this entire time. There do not seem to be any noteworthy changes here. Quiet... <laughs> quiet and, like I said, more or less uneventful sections can serve as a nice build-up, so to speak, for a bigger climax section later on. The stark contrast between a quiet section and a loud, bombastic section are what I usually love the most about music, to be honest. In my opinion, short order actually disappoints in that regard a little. We simply do not get a loud and bombastic section. I was expecting one, but instead the tune just loops, I guess? Okay. Still doesn't really sound like a climax. Oh. Okay. Guess it loops now. I, I like the tune, but I was for sure expecting some sort of major climax or something like that, but we don't seem to get it. Still very nice though. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Check out some of my own Splatoon inspired music like Splash or Splash 2. You can also hire me to write music for your Splat band, Tom. Thank you so much and I'll see you all next time.